What's up? What's up? Hey, thank y'all for joining me again here at the Rolling Grill. I'm Eric. Hey, this today this video is about liquid smoke. I got a lot of DMs, a lot of emails about liquid smoke, man. A lot of people are really interested in, in using it. I mean, because you got to realize a lot of people live in apartments, condos, don't have access to grills. If you live in New York City, you probably can't even grill if you got an apartment or a condo. Like, there's a lot of people all over the world that don't have access to the fancy grills and smokers, don't know how to use traditional wood, don't know how to use charcoal. So for them to get that flavor that they used to in a barbecue restaurant, they tend to lean towards liquid smoke. And so I'm going to do a series of videos on them. This is going to be the first one. I'm going to do some beef flanking ribs today. And we're going to do them right here. I might do them in the air fryer. I might do them in the oven. I don't even know yet. But let me run through some things. This right here, hickory liquid smoke. Really good. Really good. If you ever use any kind of beef marinades or anything like that, you probably had hickory smoke. You probably had hickory liquid smoke in it, or you probably had um, this one right here. Mesquite is another one that you find in a lot of. You find these two, mesquite and hickory, in a lot of marinades for beef, for brisket, and all the other stuff. But then you also have pecan, my personal favorite. Pecan. Absolutely dynamite on a lot of different stuff. Chicken, baked beans. I mean, all of these you can use on chicken, baked beans, or whatever. It just depends on what kind of flavor profile you're going for. But this is my personal favorite pecan. I've used it for years in a number of applications. And trust me, nothing wrong with it. And then you got apple. Never used apple, but we're going to do a few things with apple. When I smell it, to me, it smells like apples, but it smells a little sweet also. So we'll find some good ways to use this as well. So again, this video is for all you people who want to use liquid smoke. Don't be ashamed. There's nothing wrong with it. And again, thank y'all for joining me here on The Rolling Grill. Let's get this video started. Yeah, boy. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, before I get started, let me walk you through a few things. This right here, these are our beef short rib they call them flanking. Some places they call them flanking style ribs. But these are basically our beef short ribs right here. So, that's what we're working with today. But before I get to that, we got to build a marinade. Let me move it out the way. So to build our marinade, like I say, if you bought a beef marinade in the store, basically, this is pretty much what it consists of. We're going to start with water. And this is just a cup of water. I'm doing it in this small clear container so you guys can see exactly what's going on. Start with some good water. Next, I got some garlic. Nope, I'm not measuring, I'm just doing. You can add as much as you want or as little as you want. Does not matter. It's all to taste. Remember, whenever you're doing a seed, a marinade, do it to your taste. You know, you may like a lot of salt, you may not like a lot of salt. Next, olive oil. And this is extra virgin olive oil. That's probably maybe two tablespoons. Next, I've got a combination of kosher salt, black pepper, and then my um, party dust seasoning right here, and this right here. This is what I'm gonna use to season it. And I'm not trying to make it too salty, but I do want it to have a little bit of flavor. Next, Worcestershire. Worcestershire or shower, however you pronounce it. However much you like. I'm going to add a little bit. And then last but not least, the star of the show, pecan liquid smoke. And I'm taking the top off because I'm going to add a little bit of it in there. Before I do it, always shake it. Make sure you hold the top because if you get this stuff on you, you're going to smell it for, for a few hours. And then I've been using it for so long, I'm going to say that's about a little less than a tablespoon. And then next. I'm not even going to stir it. I'm going to put my lid on, make sure it's tight, and shake it. All right, y'all, make sure when you shake it that the lid is on tight. And then, if you don't want to shake it, just stir it. Like I say, you don't want to get this stuff all over you. And then you got to taste it. Like, you got to taste it to make sure it's the flavors that you want. That's good to me. It could use a touch more salt. And since I want mine to have a little, little bit more smoky flavor, I'm gonna go a little, little heavier. So I'm gonna say total liquid smoke inside of this is probably um, 
one tablespoon, to be honest. Let's taste it again. Perfect. Perfect. You taste that liquid smoke, and like I said, it's pecan one, money. You don't give it that over smoky taste. But anyway, this is a marinade using liquid smoke. This is it right here. So we're gonna take our bleep, beef, short ribs, flanking style ribs, whatever you wanna call them. And we're going to pour this in the bag. We're going to zip it up. And we're going to shake the hell out of it. Getting that marinade all over those ribs. Take the air out. Compress it as best you can. And then stick these ribs in the refrigerator for a few hours to marinate and suck up some of that flavor. And then we're ready to go. We're gonna put these in the air fryer and cook them up, off we go. But that's just how simple it is to create a nice marinade using liquid smoke. All right, guys, it's been three hours. Our short ribs have marinated for three hours and they are ready to go. But first things first, I told y'all we couldn't use an air fryer. First things first, you gotta start the air fryer up. Voila. Turn that thing on, we're gonna Cook these at 400 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and let it warm up for like five minutes. Then we're gonna come back. Got our air fryer warming up. up. Let's go ahead and take these short ribs out of the marinade and get them ready to go. Wish I had some gloves, but I don't. That's what we're looking at right there. And if you smell them, man, you smell that smokiness. They smell real good and smoky. These gonna be fire right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of here. Get them all laid out. We're gonna season them up just a little bit. And by then our air fryer should be ready. To all right, here are our short ribs. Some of them right here. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna put a light, just a light dusting of the same seasoning I used in that marinade on top. Just a light dusting. We're not trying to make them salty. Just a light dusting. And that's it. All right guys, now that our air fryer has warmed up, for about seven minutes, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take one of the racks out. And actually, I'm only gonna use one rack today. I'm gonna close the back up. And it's hot now. If you've ever used an air fryer, you know they get extremely hot. And so the process is simple. We're gonna lay these short ribs on this rack. Hopefully I can get three of the big ones on there. You hear it? Extremely hot. Let me spread them out a little bit. All right. Now, like I say, this thing is hot, so be careful. It's your oven mitt. Open it back up. See where I'm going. Right there. So, I'm gonna let them cook three minutes, uh, four minutes aside. After four minutes, I'm gonna flip them over. Four minutes on each side, total of eight minutes. And we'll see what we come up with. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. I actually let it go for six minutes on one side. So I'm gonna do six minutes a side. But uh, it's already been like six minutes. I got one minute left. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. Again, this thing is extremely hot. We're gonna take them out and we're gonna flip them. That's it. 400 degrees. Another six minutes and then we'll check them. If we have to go longer, we'll go longer. All right, guys, that has been six minutes on that side. As you see, it automatically cuts off on its own when you set the timer. So let's check it out. We may need to put them back in there. Oh, wow. Man, look at all them drippings, man. Look at all the drippings coming off that meat. Ooh, wee. I don't know if you can see them. They look beautiful. What I'm gonna do with all good meat, you gotta let it rest. So I'm gonna put these on the table, leave them on the rack, put some foil over them. We're gonna let them rest for like five minutes, then we'll come back and taste. All right, y'all, just finished with my second batch. I'm going to take these out. And to get them to the tenderness that I desire, what I'm gonna do 
get this out the way, is I'm gonna go ahead and wrap these up in foil. Cause I just like my I like mine to be a little more tender. I like I don't want to have to chew on them. I'm gonna wrap them up in foil. Put my rack. Put my rack right here on the bottom. I can get it in there. Come on, Eric, get it together. My rack right there in the bottom. Take my short ribs, put them back in there, and I'm going to let them go. on 350 for another five minutes. And they should be just, they should be tender like I like them. Yeah, boy. All right, guys, finally we're finished. I let them sit in there an additional five minutes in the foil. They've rested for an additional five minutes also. So what we're gonna do now is open up the foil pack and go ahead and, look at that, look how juicy they are, man. Go ahead and put our ribs, our short ribs right here on this plate. And this is a good time right now, if you wanted to, trying to pick out the big ones. This is a good time right now if you wanted to, to either apply a, look how tender they are, apply a sauce, so what I'm going to do, I had a nice chimichurri already made up. I'm going to brush them while it's still hot with some chimichurri. I prefer chimichurri other than barbecue sauce on mine. That's just me personally. But if you like barbecue sauce, then by all means, one in chimichurri, take your favorite barbecue sauce, take you a few dabs of the pecan smoke, put it in there. Make your sauce a little more smoky. And just while the meat is still hot, just run it right on top. And let that heat from that meat kind of cook that sauce in. And that's it, y'all. That's it, folks. We got some pecan liquid smoke, air fried beef short ribs right here. One with chimichurri and one with a barbecue sauce, y'all. And that's just how simple it is. Six minutes on each side. Wrap it up for five minutes, let it rest for five minutes, and here you go. So you know I gotta taste it. I'm gonna go with the one with chimichurri. Cause like I say, I'm a big fan of chimichurri. So let's take, look at that, beautiful man. It's just that simple. Mm. The marinade, very important. The longer the better. Really good, man. So as always, man, I wanna thank y'all for joining me. Again, I got a few more liquid smoke videos coming for you guys that's been requesting them. And as always, man, good food, good vibes. Yeah, boy. Mm.